Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. This is Robert and I have a bunch of new stuff to talk about, so let's jump right in and talk about this. This is the new Actobotics camera slider kit that we have. It is a 24 inch long beam with a 19 inch long operating area. It does not come with a motor, but you can use any of the precision DC motors or standard DC motors or any of the NEMA 17 stepper motors along with this to drive your camera back and forth. Ectobox also has a lot of different camera mounts, so you can have a standard like quarter inch tripod mount or a GoPro mount or anything else that you want to bolt on top of this. This comes as a kit, so it does have some assembly required, but it's pretty easy. It goes together in about an hour, has this nice little tensioning adjustment at the end, and a nice little slider that slides along the rail. So this is a pretty cool piece, and you have all the mounting along the bottom, so you can mount this on a tripod or wherever else you need to mount your slider. Next up, we've got this little guy. This is the Acto Biddy. Get it, Actobotics, little itty bitty. The Acto Biddy consists of a single channel. You have your two micro gear motors here in the housings. You've got a couple of wheels. Inside here, you have a battery compartment. And then you have these little clever snaps on top that hold an Arduino. The thing comes like this as a kit, so you do need to assemble it but it comes with the Arduino holders, the wheels, the motors, and the battery holder. And it has this little like um, nub in the front for driving around, kind of like you know an Omni wheel type of situation. So you can just take your Arduino with whatever shields you have, just snap it on the top. The clips are really cool on the ActoBiddy and we do sell those separately. We have both the clips for an Arduino and we have these clips that go with the Raspberry Pi as well. These clips are really neat because you don't need any tools, all you need to do is just snap them onto your profiles like that, and then the board just snaps in. So they're pretty cool, and we have them both for the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. The Arduino ones do come with the ActoBiddy. Next up, we've got this guy. This is a four wheel drive off road kit, also from Actobotics. It uses all their various beams, it includes the gear motors, and it has this kind of cool little thing for storing all your electronics inside there. Uh, let me give you a slight overview of the kit itself. You got these nice big knobbly cushiony tires. On the bottom here, you can see that it has these four gear motors. These are actually planetary gearhead motors. Planetary gearhead motors are a little different than your traditional like spur gear motor in that they actually have um, a gear in the middle and then you have a bunch of gears that round around the outside, kind of like planets and when it spins, the gears go around the outside. Really what you need to know is that planetary gearheads motors are a lot more expensive and they're a lot more robust. To give you an idea, um, I gave this kit to a resident robotics expert, Casey, and had him test the motors, and I'll show you what he thought of the motors. Okay. okay. <laughs> Where's the one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so are you okay with this? Yeah. Do you approve of this? Ship it. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Casey. The other interesting thing about this kit is the suspension. So you'll notice that one side has a bearing and there's a shaft that runs through the whole undercarriage. And so it allows for pretty good articulation. It can actually go a little bit higher than that from a very simple mechanism. So you can see that it can crawl over pretty much anything. And we just, just got this kit in like yesterday. It is available for pre-order right now and we will get a working demo of this coming up uh, probably in the next week or so. So check back for that. But this is a really cool little platform. Let's talk about slip rings. Slip rings allow you to pass an electrical connection through a rotating mechanical connection without the wires getting twisted up. It's kind of like a spinner on a kite string that keeps the string from twisting up, except this actually allows multiple electrical signals to go through at the same time. We're carrying uh, three different sizes of this, uh, one that passes 12 connections, one that passes six, and then we have one that only takes three, but it's rated for a lot more power. So that would be good for something like a motor where you need to actually source um, quite a bit of current through the slip ring. Um, the trick with these is that they actually have uh, tracks and then little fingers that sit on the tracks around the uh, radius 
of the slip ring so that as it turns, it's maintaining that connection sort of between a couple of contacts that slide against each other. What I've done here is I've used one of our uh, six conductor slip rings to go up through this um, rotating connection on a piece of Actobotics equipment and I am passing the USB connection for this webcam through the slip ring so that the camera can turn 360 degrees and uh, the USB cable doesn't get tangled up or bound up. So it can actually rotate continuously for as long as you want and you don't have to worry about cables getting tangled up. Uh, what I've also done here is I'm driving that wheel with a continuous rotation servo which I'm controlling using an Arduino Pro Mini which is connected to this USB hub. So my computer's connected to the USB hub, it splits, one side goes through the slip ring to the camera, and one side goes to the Arduino. This means that I can actually watch the output from the webcam in HD on my monitor, and using serial commands over the terminal, I can rotate the camera. One way, and then the other, and I can also stop it in place. And it can rotate continuously, uh, either until you disconnect the power or until you get sick of watching it. So these things are really good for applications like this where you're doing pan and tilt work, um, applications where you want to do a persistence of vision uh, project and you need to uh, light up LED strings on a wheel that's spinning. Um, they're also very good for robotic arms and um, all sorts of robotics applications because it's often the case that you need to pass an electrical connection across a rotating connection and there's just no other good way to do it. Lastly, wire. We have a bunch of new hookup wire in. What's special about this hookup wire is this is all silicone jacket. As you can see, it's extremely flexible stuff. You can actually tie it into knots. To give you an idea, this is actually 12 gauge wire and is extremely flexible for 12 gauge. We have this in 18 total different configurations. We have it in red and black in a 12 gauge, and then we have it in a 24 and a 32. And in all those, we have three different lengths. We have a one meter, a five meter, and a 10 meter. So to give you an idea what these look like, let's pull out, this is a 30 gauge. You can see this guy is really thin, extremely flexible, and this would work great for e-textile applications. And then of course we have the thick 12 gauge for all your power needs. And like I said, we have all of these in a one meter, five meter, and 10 meter lengths in red and black. So it should be a little something for everyone. These are the new products that we have for this week at SparkFun Electronics. We have the wire, we have all the new Actobotics kits, and also the Actobotics connectors for connecting both your Raspberry Pi and your Arduino to the Actobotics beams. And of course, we have the slip rings that Nick demonstrated earlier. We have even more new products on the website, so if you want to check that out at sparkfun.com. We'll see you again next week with even more new products.